Joining us now in Studio B, our second guest of the day, Savannah Ware Avina, all WCC second team singles player. Savannah, welcome oh, into the you. show. Thanks. Nice to be here. Hey, repping tennis. You know, like, I don't know if you noticed on your way in, but we, we are repping BYU oh. women's tennis right in front of your uh, microphone. Perfect. Okay. I saw the tennis ball on the corner, too. Yeah, we just need a racket, and then we'll be completed. <laughs> yeah. That's where I was going with that. So, yeah. so if you feel like donating you got a racket one of your team. really nice you rackets, you should sent me a message. Point. I would have brought one. <laughs> I mean, Dr. Lauren, she'll yeah. she'll hook us up. Right? Yeah. All right, coming off uh, the West Coast Conference tournament as a six seed, you upset St. Mary's four to three. That was uh, a, a nice step That's in the awesome. right direction for the tennis program. Yeah, it was great. It was it was incredible. We clinched the match at it was three three, so we finished at four three, and mm. our freshman Sam Smith finished the match for us and six three and a third. It was amazing. Like the walk up, what was the celebration like? Oh, we were all screaming. <laughs> <laughs> it was insane. What's what's it like to compete? It, and we've been talking to some members of the golf team. Same idea, where it's an individual sport, but it's also a team sport. So how yeah. do you manage that dynamic? It's tough because I mean, doubles is different. Obviously, doubles you have your um, your person out there that with you, but it's individual because every match is like you're on your own. Like it counts as the team as a whole, but you're on your own. So it's it's tough. <laughs> you're like, I want to succeed as an individual, and then oh yeah, the team. Yes. <laughs> and, and it's and it's hard to know. Okay, I've got to do my individual job right now that's number one yes. and then that will lead to team success oh yeah something like that yes yeah. exactly have you ever played in a scenario where it's been tied 3-3 and you have been the determining match yes and if so what, what is that like <laughs> um i used to do it actually it happened a lot freshman year but it hasn't happened in a while other than uh utah state we beat utah state and it came down to my match and i clinched it for the team and it was it was, again, amazing. It felt so good. <gasps> How does that work in terms of who you put in that position? Like in the 4 by 100 the fastest guy goes last. Yeah. The second fastest goes first and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So it, whoever is like seventh, I guess, in this situation. Yeah, so we How does have that work? A, well, our lineup is just one through six, mm -hmm. and then it just comes down to when matches finish. But, um, oh, yeah. gotcha. It's, it's, it, does, it's it doesn't. It's time-based. Yeah, it's time, oh, okay. basically. So Interesting. So things wrap up, and then yeah, the just, group just kind of gets bigger like, and bigger. What'd you as do? Exactly. What'd you do? Yeah. Oh, we're up? It's yeah. just who is, like, on the end. It's like whoever finishes last kind of thing. <laughs> whoever takes the longest? Yeah, Honestly. it takes the longest. So you all play at the same time? Yes. We all start at the same time. Mm. So now I'm you, liking this <laughs> dynamic. Yeah, that that makes it more interesting. That's that's like in the World Cup when it's like so and so needs to tie and win. They all play at the same time, so they yes. can't just like yeah. lose on purpose or. Yeah, it adds a new dynamic I, to yeah. the yeah. excitement of tennis. So, so if you show up at a, a tennis match and the season's over now, right? But yes. next year, you watch all of them at the same time, baby. I did not realize. Yeah, that. you have to go that's match cool. to match. Cool. Walking around. <laughs> Very cool right, stuff. Yeah. Savannah Ware Avina, all WCC second team singles tennis player with us on BYU Sports Nation. Can you play tennis for fun? Jeremy and I talk about this a lot with different athletes. Like, you specialize in it so much. You practice so much. Like, is there is there a time when you're just like, yeah, I'm going to go out and have fun playing the sport that I play every single day? It would day? definitely be tough. Um, I think I could do it. I have done it with my husband a couple times. Like, just gone out just to like play for fun. But that's fun because you beat him to oh, talk, yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's hard. It's definitely hard just to play for fun because I'm like, oh, I'm so competitive. But <laughs> what's what's your husband's name? Jason. Jason. Is yeah. he good at tennis? Kind of. <laughs> did, did that ma when you were dating? Like, did that matter? Did he? No, like he's tennis? good at volleyball. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. He was on the volleyball for high school, so. Nice. Yeah. I like that honest answer. Yeah. <laughs> Kinda. Because <laughs> like, oh, he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's watching. Can you pepper with him? Can you? Uh, you like, it, in volleyball, can you you know pass it, spike uh, it with him? No. No. Okay. <laughs> can he uh, play tennis okay with you? No. Do you no. guys try? We try. I mean, We've tried, like, go back and forth, but yeah. neither. <laughs> no. We'll, we'll just take our, our sports to you ourselves. Need yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> just listen, go. go to the Wii or to the Xbox yeah. 360. Yes, exactly. Like, or that will exercise even, like a good human being, <laughs> right? Even too. the playing yeah. field in terms of competition. Wait, so is there a sport, because you guys seem athletic, right? Mm -hmm. Is there a sport that you guys both play and enjoy together or is um, there other stuff? We, I mean, we just like hiking, I'd say. Mm -hmm. And hiking is pretty fun. Um, and then make, just working out, going to the gym. You make there that you competitive, too? Uh, oh, you're, you're, you're running You're hey, running at a 6.8 rate right now? <laughs> 6.9. You're out of breath at the Y Mountain? 
Seriously, why is legit? That's a tough time. Oh, that's funny. Okay, now you're in an interesting situation because uh, you're done playing tennis and you're close to graduation. You've got a few classes left. So what, what do the next coming months hold for you uh, as a student and then as, you know, a tennis player? Yeah, I'm, so I'm taking spring and then uh, over the summer I'm, take, I'm coaching the camps. And then I'm w looking to go back home and coach tennis, like get into the uh, collegiate, I think, career. Oh, okay, is, so not what high I school. Do. Not high school. I want to coach college tennis. I mean, maybe a little country club stuff, we'll see, but I definitely think college. <laughs> Sports psychologist Craig Manning is known uh, for being fantastic and a great addition, right, in yes, the uh, yeah. uh, athletic department. What's your favorite Craig Manningism? Craig Manningism. I think just everything he talks about to us is just like staying in the present. That's like the biggest thing for me and not looking too far ahead because tennis is all about like, it's so mental, it's crazy, but it's all about like staying in the present and focusing one point at a time. So. I, I always write these down. Yes, Jerem. <laughs> <we're laughs> tweet it out, Jerem. <laughs> stay in the past. Not just kidding. No, <laughs> definitely not past. <laughs> well, on the negative. I think, I think you got, yeah, that wow. sounds about right. Wow. That sounds good. The anti Craig man. <laughs> <laughs> Savannah, thanks for the time. Congratulations on a great career at BYU. Thank and you. And uh, we wish you the best of luck. Thank um, you so uh, much. In your coaching career. Yeah, you need to sign the flag. Can you oh, sign awesome. our flag? Yes. That'd be awesome. All right. There you go. Yeah, go ahead.